Story time with Mr. Bones Cut Chicken. Welcome people of YouTube, this is Mr. Bubble Pet Chicken and I got another story time for ya kiddies. We're gonna start out with a kiss, sweet mother. A kiss, sweet mother. So you wish to summon the Dark Brotherhood? You wish to see someone dead? Pray, child, pray. And let the Night Mother bear your plea. You must perform that most profane of rit the most that most profane of rituals, the Black Sacrament. Create an effigy of the um, intended victim, assembled from actual body parts, including a heart, skull, bones, and flesh. Encircle the effigy with candles. The ritual itself must then commence. Proceed to stab the effigy repeatedly with a dagger, rubbed with the petals of the nightshade plant of a nightshade plant while whispering the, this plea sweet mother sweet mother send your child unto me for the sins of this unworthy must be baptized in blood and fear then wait ch then wait child for the dead f dread father sit this rewards the patient you you will be visited by a representative of the Dark Brotherhood. So begins a contract. Bound in blood. Adria, Adra, and Daedra. Adra and Daedra. The designations of gods, demons, Adra and Daedra are universally confusing to the layman. They are often used interchangeably. Adra and Daedra are not relative terms. They are elf elvish and in an exact Azura Azura is a Daedra both in Skyrim and Morrowind. Adra is usually translated as ancestor, which is as close as um Cairo Delicin come to this elven concept. Daedra means roughly, not our ancestors. This distinction was crucial to the Dunmer, whose fundamental split in um, ideology is represented in their mythical genealogy. Adra is associated with status. Daedra represents change. Adra created the mortal Create, wait, created the yeah created the mortal world and are bound to the earth bones. Daedra, who cannot create, have the power to change. As part of the divine contract of creation, the Adra can be killed. Witness Lorcan and the moons. The protein Daedra are whom the rules do not apply, can only be banished. So these two books were far fairly short. Dwemer Law. The Antecedents of Dwemer Law. This book is a historical account of development of Dwemer Law and custom from its roots in high elven culture. In short, so far as I am able to trace the order of development in the customs of the Bosmir tribes, I believe it to have been all way, in all ways comparable to the growth of Alt, Altmir law. The early liability for slaves and animals was mainly confined to surrender which as in summer yeah summer Somerset why did it take me so long to say Somerset Isles later became compre you know, compensation and what does this matter for a study of our laws today so far as concerned the influence of the Altamir laws 
upon our own, especially the ultimate law of master and servant. The evidence of it is to be found in every judgment which has been recorded for the last 500 years. It has been star stated already that we still repeat the reasoning of the Altamir magistrates, empty as it is to the present day, and I will quickly show you how Altamir custom can be followed into the courts of the Dwemer. In the laws of Karndar Watch DD 1180, it is said, if one who is owned by another slays one who owns himself, the owner must pay the associates three fine instruments and the body of the one who is owned. There are many other similar citations, and the same principle is extended even to the case of the centurion by which a man is killed if at the common workbench one of the slain, one is slain by the Anamunsuli, Anamunsuli, the associates of the slain may disassemble the Anamunsuli and take it, take its parts within 30 days. It is instructive to compare what Dark has mentioned concerning the rude beasts of the Tenmar forest. If a marsh cat was killed by an Argonian, his family were in disgrace till they really, um, retali retaliated by killing the Argonian, or another like it. But further, if a marsh cat was killed by a f fall from a tree, his relatives would take their revenge by toppling the tree and shattering the bran its branches and casting them to every part of the forest. Sorry it took me a minute to read that book. I'm a little tired and reading books right now is not my best skill at the moment. <laughs>